What is division? Before you watch this video and understand it, you must review the multiplication tables. Here are 12 apples. We want to share them equally between these four children. How many apples should each one have? First of all, you should know that sharing apples fairly means that we want to share them equally, which means that everyone will take the same number of apples. Let's start distributing the apples by giving one to each child. Since we still have apples left, we will continue distributing them again to each child. And we will continue sharing and giving apples for the third time since we still have apples. We shared the 12 apples equally between these four children, so each one will have three apples. We call this procedure division. We distributed these 12 apples between four children, so each child took three apples. So what is division? We have already known the addition with the plus sign, subtraction with the minus sign, multiplication with the time sign, and today we are going to learn division. Division is very important for calculating. It allows us to find how many equal groups do we have or how many items do we have in each group when sharing fairly. Dividing means dividing a quantity fairly. That means splitting it equally to have several equal quantities at the end. For example, if we have a pizza and we split it into four equal parts, we say that we divided the pizza into four. We have 15 candies and we need to distribute them equally into 5 bags, so each bag must contain 3 candies. So we say 15 divided by 5 equals 3. This means that we divided 15 into 5 groups, which gives us 3 in each group. To write a division problem, we use this sign to represent the division. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Let's take another example. If we want to solve this division problem, which is 12 divided by 3, it means that we have 12 pawns and we want to divide them into 3 equal groups. As for the multiplication, we can make 3 rows and arrange the pawns in them by distributing each time a pawn in a row. And we see that we have 4 pawns in each row. So 12 divided by 3 equals 4. If we know the multiplication tables, we can check that our work is right. 3 rows of 4 pawns each gives us 3 times 4 equals 12. So when we do a multiplication, we repeat the same number several times to find out the total number. 3 times 4 means that we have 3 groups of 4 pawns and we repeat the number 4 3 times. 3 times 4 equals 12. But when we make a division, it is the inverse of multiplication, which means we have a total amount of objects and we share it in several equal groups. And we see how many objects we have in each group. We have 12 pawns and we have divided them into 3 equal groups. So we get 4 pawns per group, so 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Now, what does 8 divided by 2 equals 2? This means that we want to share equally 8 pawns into 2 groups, so we will get 4 pawns in each group, so 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Dividing a number by 2 is the same as finding the half of that number. The half of 8 is 4, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. To solve this division equation, which is 18 divided by 2, we should just find the half of 18, which is 9, so 18 divided by 2 equals 9. Now try to do this division problem, which is 18 divided by 3. Imagine that we have distributed 18 equally into 3 groups, then pop the question in your head. 3 times what gives us 18? It's of course 3 times 6 equals 18, and then 18 divided by 3 equals 6. What does 30 divided by 5 equals 2. We are going to ask the question in our head. 5 times what gives us 30? It's 5 times 6 equals 30. So 30 divided by 5 equals 6. What does 24 divided by 3 equals 2? We are going to ask the question. 3 times what equals 24? It's 3 times 8 equals 24. So 24 divided by 3 equals 8. Notice that we should know that the number 3 is called the divisor and the number 8 is called the quotient. 
and we continue by the same way. Now try to find the answers of these division problems. Pause the video to take time to answer. And here are the answers.